good morning dear students i am your english teacher in utel matriculation school hope you all doing well right okay students in last class what we have seen can you all remember that in this week we have to learn about three sports stars right first sports star name is mithali durairaj she is a cricket player and second sports star is usha rani she is a kabaddi player in last class we have to we learn about her passion and work and about her family also right okay today i'll have to take page number 85 do you know India has won all six women's kabaddi world cups played from 2012 to 2017 India won India has won all six women's all six women's kabaddi world cups world cups played from 2012 to 2017 and now let me learn about glossary okay glossary shanty town shanty town means a poor area usharani came from a poor area shanty town of subedar palaya in ashwanpur near bangalore in karnataka right so shanty town means a poor area shanty town means a poor area unfulfilled unfulfilled means unrealized unrealized unfulfilled means unrealized unfulfilled unrealized prominent prominent means noticeable prominent means noticeable determined determined means will powered determined means will powered will powered students you have to read well and memorize these four glossary okay let me read it again shanty town a poor area all of you say after me shanty town shanty town a poor area a poor area unfulfilled unfulfilled unrealized and realized prominent prominent means noticeable prominent means noticeable determined determined will powered determined means will powered shanty town a poor area unfulfilled unrealized prominent noticeable determined will powered okay students and then we move on to the answer the following briefly answer the following briefly first let me read the first question when did usha rani start playing kabaddi usha rani when started her kabaddi usha rani started playing kabaddi at her school days usha rani the answer of the question is usha rani started playing kabaddi at her school days <clears throat> students you have to write this question and answer in your class work note okay first you have to put a heading answer the following briefly section 2 and then you have to put a question number 1 
you have to write a question when did usha rani start playing kabaddi answer is usha rani started playing kabaddi at her school days students you have to mark from usha rani started start we have to add ed started playing kabaddi at her school days students you have to write it in your book okay the answer is the usha rani started playing kabaddi at her school days and second question <coughs> what did she sell to support her family what did she sell to support her family usha rani sold flowers to support her family you have to write usha rani usha rani sold flowers to support her family usha rani sold flowers s o l d sold flowers f l o w e r s flowers to support her family this is the second question answer uh, answer <laughs> and then third question find out idiom that relates to whatever the circumstances from the first paragraph find out the idiom students we have to find out the idiom from the first paragraph the idiom is rain or shine here the meaning rain or shine here usha rani going for her practice whenever whatever it is rain or shine she wanted to go playing kabaddi right so that's why it is a idiom the idiom is rain or shine the idiom is rain or shine once again i read these three questions with their answers you have to correctly note out okay note it down when did usha rani start playing kabaddi usha rani started playing kabaddi at her school days second question what did she sell to support her family usha rani sold flowers to support her family third question find out the idiom that relates to whatever the circumstances whatever the circumstances from this from the first paragraph the idiom is rain or shine rain or shine students these three questions and four glossary is your homework you have to write it in your class work note okay you have to write a question with their answer likewise the glossary also okay this is your homework today and you have to read it well these three questions and glossary also okay Any one day, I'll make a test for you. You have to read it well. These three questions and four glossaries. So read well and write neatly, and then you have to take a photocopy and send me through the WhatsApp. Okay. Thank you, students. Keep safe at your home.